Okay, I'm going to show you guys a few uh, Sean Lane style licks to play over Get You Back. Um, one of them is a lick that was actually used in Get You Back, and the others are just kind of Sean Lane style licks, which he would use um, similar variations of in different songs. They can be found in several of his songs. And uh, some of these were even played, uh, similar runs were played in various live versions of Get You Back. So the first lick can be found towards the beginning of the solo. It's a string skipping lick, and I like to think of it as being based around D. Realistically, it's probably based around the chord changes, but I haven't really paid that close of attention. Um, various inversions of D, and it um, starts off here on the 14th fret of the low E. you got to forgive me, the uh, intonation is really off, so this is going to sound kind of wicked, but 14th fret of the low E. <laughs> 12th fret of the D, 14th fret of the G. So you have is a 1, a 5, a major, a major third on the bottom there. And then the next part starts on the D, and it's just like a D5. 1, 5, 1. And then back to the 5, up to the 1. Second, and then a flat five or a tritone. That's how I think of it. That's probably the wrong way to look at it, but anyways. All right, the next lick um, is a definitely a, a Sean style lick. Uh, he uses a variation on this in many of his songs. You can hear it in One More Night. Uh, you can hear it in One Note at a Time. And basically, anytime you hear him play a saxophone-inspired line, um, he'll be utilizing some form of this lick I'm about to show you. Um, it involves chromatic notes, um, which are used quickly in passing, and kind of give it a re they give it a really interesting sound as opposed to just straight diatonic scales. Um, if you're in the key of like uh, F sharp minor. <laughs> Um, so you've got this. Those types of uh, those notes right there. You can start up here on the 19th fret, and it, you will use a chromatic rundown kind of. this lick and at least um, he's used it in several of his songs I've seen him do it on at least one version of get you back um, probably more but off the top of my head just the one and um, very similar to Eric Johnson's uh, lick in Cliffs of Dover it's a variation on that I'm sure you've heard Sean do it before that lick right there so you know from this from this minor position Sean will use that a lot too. Uh, starting here just on. 
on the A, and then you bend up on the B string to match that note from a half step down. You hear him do that in, in one more night also. So that would finish that off, and then the final lick, which Sean uses uh, a good bit too, you can hear him do it in the um, hold on solo, which I actually covered poorly, but I did. Um, and that is kind of a diatonic pattern that would descend. Um, so from that uh, string skipping lick or that you know that Eric Johnson lick, you can easily move it in that same pattern, same same position kind of, and then just slide your way down. Basically it, there you go. Some ideas, hopefully they're helpful.